Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video and another video inside the Outcast server. Now, basically, if you don't know what the Outcast server is, then basically I have been doing it for at least seven episodes. Today is the eighth episode, I believe, um, and on Friday we will have the last episode because today's Wednesday. Uh, and I will actually be ending the server, well not the server, but I don't own the server, but I will be ending the series uh, on Thursday, but no, Friday, but I will still be playing on this, but I won't be doing any recordings on it, um, hopefully, if I'm still allowed to come on it. Um, and actually, I've got some things to be talking about today. You're probably wondering where all my Smeltertrons went. Somebody's actually uh, rearranged them and changed my Smeltertrons um, into bloody crafting tables. So whoever that was, come and give me my crafting tables back. Not my crafting tables, my uh, furnaces. Uh, anyway, if you've never seen a video on the Outcast server with me in it before, uh, then basically it's pretty simple. It's just a server that my one of my friends who's American, uh, who doesn't actually, don't think he actually likes me, uh, hosts this server all the time 24-7 on his extra Xbox which uh, is pretty cool uh, and then I just join it and do my recordings and do whatever I want to do. Uh, we're hoping that by episode 9 we're actually going to have preparation and get ready to go to uh, the Ender so that we can go and defeat the Ender Dragon hopefully on episode 9. Now if we don't do it, uh, well if nobody else goes to do it I will go and do it myself uh, so that's my ambition to end the series by defeating the Ender Dragon. Uh, but before we can do that, I find myself a spaceship. <gasps> oh my god, it's a spaceship. So yeah, basically last episode I actually promised people that we would go and find the spaceship. Now this spaceship, I'm actually not going to be destroying it. I know whose it is and I'm going to actually show it off. Don't that look amazing? That spaceship, I mean, seriously, look at those chickens down there. Uh, that spaceship just looks amazing. Now, let's get a little bit of a snapshot up here next to this. And let's just quickly take my HUD away. And we'll have this for our thumbnail, if we can actually quickly find it. Now, is it in my interface? Yeah, display HUD. Right, okay, so, bing, there we are. That is going to be my brand new thumbnail that's going to be awesome so if we go to user interface add hands right okay so there we are cool right okay so we've got everything back now this is actually jake's now jake took a lot of stone from me uh and then we're actually fine all of that stuff was fine i actually knew that jake was taking stone from me he actually told me so uh i just want to say two episodes ago when i was moaning about jake and being really fast that was just fun it was just a bit of fun um, and it was only a joke, but um, I really don't mind him taking my stone as long as he asks, and he did, so there we are. Um, and basically, we're going to be well, we've actually agreed to make some videos together and maybe team up, so that's pretty cool, uh, which I'm happy to announce. And also, this is his spaceship, which is uh, appar uh, apparently or currently docked on Earth, so it isn't a uh, it is actually landed on Earth, and we could go to the moon, we could go to Pluto, or we could go to Mars. Uh, we're not actually going to go to a planet today, and these are his dogs. These are his dogs. Now, when he here's a great story. When he asked me uh, if I had a dog, uh, I thought he meant, do I have dogs in real life? Uh, so I said, yeah, I have one. And then um, I, it actually turned out that he was on about on Minecraft. And he said he has about nine dogs. Now, another awesome thing that he's doing, which I wanted to show off, which he's doing, uh, is a mine along here somewhere. I can't remember. Hang on a minute. I need to eat. Well, I need to eat some carrots because my hunger is quite low and that means I cannot run. So I need to sort that out. Right. I can run now, I think. Right. Okay. All right. If I can actually remember where he was building it. Now, I don't know if it's down here. I don't think it is. I don't think this is his. No, it's not. All right. So let's go back. He literally only showed it to me a couple of minutes ago. But he had to go because um, he had to go su do something and um, yeah I just had to get this recording out of the way so you know. Um, oh okay I, I think that I've probably just, well I did listen to him and I did follow him but uh, I think I forgot where he put it. <laughs> he had like a proper cool thing unless I was imagining it. Unless it didn't actually exist. <gasps> oh my god it's not real it's a spaceship spaceship spaceship. No I'm joking. Ah, here we are, this is it. Right, okay, so you go this way, and then there's this giant thing that he's mined out. It's like his giant base. Uh, and if you go down here, uh, well, he's gonna. Oh, I did that earlier. Yeah, you can see my crafting table there I used to get up. Um, basically, 
Uh, he is building, going to build stairs here and do things and make this his operation area. And he has hidden things down here, but I'm not going to show you any of it. Because uh, otherwise it wouldn't be hidden, would it? <laughs> um, I actually noticed that in a couple of... Whoa, okay, we've been sprung back a few times. Whoa. Well, I actually noticed that um, my smeltertron uh, and my smelter room had been rearranged for crafting tables. And also, at first, it was just taking away. And then there was a message set saying uh, you should protect your craft your furnaces a lot more. Um, and then it said smiley face XGN. So what I did was is uh, I know that that's XG XGN. So I got I had to replace them all back and put furnaces all the way back there so I put furnaces back and then I came back after talking to Jake and my whole my whole house had been rearranged for crafting tables now I'm not going to bother um, changing the crafting tables back in the furnaces because I have a very secret room which I'm not going to show you because I don't want XGN to see but I'm going to tell you down there somewhere there is a very secret uh, smelter room which I'm going to go the very long way into so Right, if we go the long way in, uh, he'll never find it. So that's what's going to be really hard. Uh, and, oh yeah, we were joined by uh, OVK Baller or whatever it is. Uh, something like that anyway, uh, today. So that's quite weird. Uh, we don't normally get joined by many people. Well, actually, we do We do get joined. We get a full lobby. But, you know, me just like to moon. Me just like to say things. All right, so while we're down here, we might as well do a bit of uh, digging up. Uh, so what do we have in our inventory? We don't have much good stuff, so... Alright, if we just start trying to mine some stuff, I don't know. Uh, actually, what is in here? This is a bit of cobblestone. Just rip. Uh, I think maybe I probably put out some water. Maybe I don't know. Uh, this is probably my. This is my old mine. If you can remember, I didn't put the crafting table there though. That's pretty cool. Uh, in the wall, just walking along, need a crafting table, and there it is. Boom. Ah, what? No, you are joking me. Ah, oh, I thought that was my um. Ah, oh, I thought that was my thingy. I've got a uh, spawn room around here somewhere. Ah, here we are. Here's my furnace room. This is my secret furnace room. And through here are some doors which are very secret. And nobody else will be able to tell where they are. Um, but yeah, that that is my secret room uh, that you will never find. Unless you're XGN and you've just watched this video and you go the back way. Uh, then yeah, you're actually going to find it. Now, I'm not going to tell you where that is in my base. But I will tell you that. So, there we are. Right, if we just go back up these ladders. Uh, so we're about 7 minutes into this video. Uh, I normally run for about 17 minutes. Uh, I really want to go see what some other people have been up to. So I want to kind of give you a bit of a tour around the island. Uh, I am basically having problems with the uh, rendering distance. So I don't actually know how far I'll be able to go. So I might not actually be able to take you to some places. Uh, so what I might do is take you to see what XGN's been building. Uh, and if a lot of you have been seeing at TLG Gaming, I think it is. If you've actually seen his channel, uh, you already know that he's been building a castle. Uh, but a lot of people probably haven't seen it as he only has 19 subscribers, I think. I think that's all he has. Uh, but yeah, but he doesn't have like a ton. So I'm going to show you what he's been building. Now, if you can see what I can see. Uh, well, you can definitely see what I can see because I'm recording this. Uh, so yeah, if you can see that, that's basically what's happening to me. I'm just rendering... Uh, very slowly right now I don't want to show you his house yet or his uh, castle yet because I want there to be like a grand revealing so uh, yeah let's, let's go up here right uh, now if you are asking and you're a youtuber who wants to be a part of the server all you have to do is contact contact XGN and ask him if you can be a part of the server if he allows you to be part of the server um, he will friend you as outcast servers and then you'll be able to join uh, and this is basically what he's been building. This is his castle, but it will look a lot better. It just needs to render in. There we are. So that is his castle. Now, my friend turned around and said to me something bad that XGN wouldn't like. Uh, I, he turned around as well. It is bad to XGN. He turned around and said that this looks like the uh, same castle from uh, the tutorial version of it. But I don't think it does. I think this does look like its own castle. It doesn't look like a copy. It doesn't look like a replica. It does look like its own. Even though the guy keeps uh, trolling me or pranking me. Uh, I do think that his house is pretty cool. Or pretty sweet. Or his uh, castle is pretty sweet. Now originally up here I remember he m rebuilt a blacksmith. Or tried to build one. And I think it didn't exactly succeed very well. And he didn't like it. So he got rid of it, and yeah, now he has this, and I just got stuck down here. Awesome! This is special, right. Alright, if I just quickly place that there, I really did not do that. 
Alright, well, don't want to break anything of his because I don't really fancy breaking things. Right, if we just leave that there, he can have a free block of uh, that if he gets back. Right, oh, ouch, I think I might just hurt myself like half my hearts, uh, which is not good. So, it's like somebody's exploded TNT around here. Alright, alright, let's fly over here. Not fly, but walk. Uh, we don't have the permissions to fly. Look, I'll show you. Uh, I'm pressing A. Oh, am I the only per only person on the Outcast server? I thought that Troller was on. Okay, I seem like I'm the only one on. I see. I think like everybody goes off, and then I'm like the last one on. I think I see how it is, guys. I see how it is. Uh, it's only because I'm a British person, and uh, they don't like British people. I don't think Americans. So, uh, I mean, I think they think I'm an alien, uh, and I keep getting bounced back. I mean, just because I'm British doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. I don't know. Look at my little compound down there. It looks pretty cool. Looks a little pretty cool. And then you've got XGN. And it's just overtops me. Uh, but my uh, base does look pretty cool on the inside. So I think it's like the best that I've ever seen on a server. My base. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, you imagine how cool it would look in the uh, plastic texture pack. I don't like the plastic texture pack. But if I had it like cobblestone, not instead of um, stone, it would look pretty cool in the plastic texture pack. Alright, so I want to take you to like some other houses, but we are lagging pretty bad, and I don't know how long we have left. We have about three minutes left to take you to somewhere else, so it's really bad. Look at how much lag I get. It's because, pardon me, it's because of America and Britain being so like far apart, really, considering. Well, like our internet is bad, that's what it is. It's just our internet so bad, both of us. Um, Alright, so if I go this way. Uh, then I can show you Antibiotic's house or Antibiotic or whatever it is. I'm going to show you his house and hopefully, yeah, before I do end the series, I'll be able to uh, do a bit of collabing with everyone. Uh, we do still only have two episodes left to do, uh, but hopefully we will, within those two episodes, get at least two collab videos. So we're going to at least get one with Jake, one with Antibiotic. I'll probably do like one with Antibiotic first and then end it with doing it with Jake. So that it sounds a bit cooler uh, but don't worry because if you're wondering if I'm gonna be in the outcast server or if I'm just leaving the outcast server because I've been told to get off of it and I'm just gonna finish a few episodes that is not the case I'm actually gonna be back for the third series of the outcast server now what I'm on at the moment is actually the second series of the outcast server or the second season um, but what it is uh, because I wasn't on the first season uh, this is actually just the first series for me but it is actually the second season that I'm playing right now uh, the second season Outcast server, so yeah. Uh, but hopefully by the next season, season 3, I will be back with a brand new little bit of a bang. I'll probably come back with an Elgato recording device rather than this HD PVR, so I should be a lot better as well. And I should have learnt a lot more with my commentaries as well, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to say. Um, and do you remember that thing that I showed you? I'm not too sure if I showed you it in the video. It was that potato thing that, um, like, self... Uh, oh, look at this. There's a trail to spawn. <gasps> Stone! But I can't take it. So, like... Oh, look at this. Right, okay. So there's, like... I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, my God. No, I've gone off my head. I can't remember what I'm talking about. All right, just go with whatever I was talking about and just say yes, okay? There we are. Right. <laughs> um, and Yeah, I know. Yeah, you remember that potato thing I was on about where I uh, used to um, have water, which would get rid of the potatoes and then, like... You'd be giving the potatoes. It used to just like run down. Get, it would harvest the potatoes for you when you flick the lever. Well, basically, the guy that owns that, he actually got rid of it. So I was like, no, I, I, I like that. It was like my favorite invention. I was like, no, that thing is on the server for a reason because I damn like it. But oh well, he got rid of it and it is totally up to him. I do want to show you some more, but the thing is, I don't think we're going to. Ah, we might get a little bit of time. Alright, so all right, so this is, uh, Nit was here, I have fixed you up your shop, JK4, alright, so this is Jake4 is actually fixed up, you don't reckon that Jake went around with uh, all my stone fixing everyone's houses up, do you, oh wait, there's some fire over here, oh wait, yeah, remember um, that was being postponed, the, uh, the graveyard was being postponed, well, this is actually the graveyard now, um, this is the pet graveyard. Now, I can't remember if I had a pet. I did have one, but I killed him myself, so it doesn't really... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to come and see them. Uh, rest in peace, Molly. Owner was JK47. Um, they wouldn't rest in peace if I came to it. 
Um, so rest in peace, Bruce. Owner was JK47. Wow. Rest in peace, Fred. Owner was JK47. Wow. He, he isn't a great owner for dogs, though, I'm guessing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, we have just about run out of time for this video here. But um, hopefully we will get to see each other or talk to each other in the next video. Uh, actually, but before I go, I'm actually going to give it a couple of seconds because I want to show you a few things. Uh, this is actually Jake's shop, I believe. Uh, knit the one and only guy who married a workbench. Lol. <laughs> right, okay, so owner only passed this point. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. I've always wanted to do that. And down there is the greatest guy who ever lived. The guy that holds up one person's space. It is actually Outcast Service. Now, just add that guy and you can actually be a part of this. Now, I will see you guys in my next video. Unfortunately, we have just come about to the end of this video, so hopefully in the next video we will be in a collab video with Jake and also we will uh, probably be with Antibiotic which would be pretty cool but Anti Serum and Antibiotic don't really come on very often anymore uh, but hopefully we will get them back on and I'll be able to show you some more awesome things uh, that have been built by the people that are run on this server so anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video as much as I have been making it and I will see you all